under the name Kajet Savu, yes. that the, the, the most uh, one of the driest part of Kenya, it survives over there. I see, I see. So it is drought tolerant variety. Mm -hmm. Again, of the other, uh, we have. Uh, this is MG, the National Lava Channel. So, guys, kindly consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. So, uh, my wonderful viewers and supporters, I promised you that I'm going to look for the officers on the ground concerning Savo. You remember we talked about Savo in the previous video. Uh, I'm actually a farmer. I come from Homer Bay County. And the reason why I got interested in Savo is because of the production and um, the food security part of it. So, in the past one and a half years, I've been doing Savo. And the consistency in the production, the high yielding production that I've had, has really given me the, the motivation to actually let someone also know of the things that can help us fight this food insecurity thing. So, as a farmer, I saw it that it is better also to enlighten my fellow farmers so that I be my brother's and sister's keeper. I don't become mean with what I have known and what I have also achieved. So, I promise you that I'll get these days. And today, we are here with one of the well-polished, uh, knowledgeable uh, officer from um, who is actually one of the people dealing with Savo feed here in Rachuanu. So, guys, kindly welcome, and uh, our visitor is here. Kindly uh, welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much. So, uh, what is your name, or can you tell us about yourself? Okay, I'm David Winyo. I'm an agricultural scientist. I do agronomic practices to help farmers meet their targets on productivity or production generally and uh, we are the people on the ground yeah. uh, handling Savo feed mm -hmm. so I heard you asking what is Savo feed yeah, so, so just like just like any other variety in the world yeah. uh, a product must have a business name yeah. and uh, business name must come from somewhere. Yeah. So when we started the all, all, all feed varieties in Kenya or all over the world must have come from a research institution first. Yes. That is maybe a university or an independent research institution. Yes. Thereafter, a seed company will automatically go and buy the idea mm -hmm. or the technology. Yeah. Then they come uh, at, 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 at the company again mm -hmm. and brand it yeah. a new name. So, uh, Savo, there is a place in Kenya called Savo. Yes. And that is Savo National Park. Okay. So, the variety was tested, tested in different parts of Kenya mm -hmm. and later, we landed in, in Savo National, around Savo National Park. Mm -hmm. It did very well. You know that uh, we have dry areas, mm -hmm. like Savo National Park is mm -hmm. one of the most driest parts of Kenya. Mm -hmm. And it did well over there. So we came with that name, you see, yeah. given that it survived over there. Yeah. So why Tavo? And uh, uh, what is all, all about Tavo, the, the benefit yeah. over other maize varieties? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, Tavo yes. has got very unique uh, characteristics. Mm -hmm. One, yeah. it is a drought tolerant variety. And as the name Kajet Savo, yes. that the, the, the most uh, one of the driest part of Kenya, it survives over there. I see, I see. So it is drought tolerant variety. Mm -hmm. Again, of the other, uh, we have uh, pests and diseases yes. that has been hindering and giving problems to crop production. And the most, the most, the most, uh, the most uh, I mean, uh, destructive weed yes. is strider weed. Yeah. That has been a problem to all farmers yeah. around the, uh, the lake region. Yeah. So it is a tolerant, uh, it is a, uh, a striker tolerant variety, yeah. and uh, it has, it takes its root mm -hmm. towards the moisture content down there. So it can survive in, 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 in droughts. Yes. And uh, it has more leaves mm -hmm. that help in photosynthesis. Yes. Uh, it is 
I can I can say it is the almost or the only variety in Kenya that is double coffee. Yeah. The others have been have been paid to be double cobbing, yeah. but if you look at the, 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 the what what they call double, yeah. it is a very small thing like this. Yeah, it's a small thing. Yes. Yeah. But this one, one and I can test it by yeah, it. and this one mm-hmm. has got that bigger cob mm. that if you if you if you remove one, yeah. you can survive on one mm. and leave the other one to dry. Mm-hmm. For those who are taking the green green green, you know, in harvesting. Yeah. There are those people who are harvesting green yeah. uh, uh, maize yeah. and dry maize. Yes. That can be grinded and yeah. something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, 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 so that is the adva- another advantage of Tavo. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe another advantage is that it can do well in uh, almost all over. Yeah. We don't have a place like. This is a dry place. This is a wet place. Yeah. This is uh, highly acidic. This yeah. Is highly like 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 here in Homa Bay, we find that in Homa Bay County, most of the part is dry. Most of the parts are dry. Yeah. Yes. So basically, even in Homa Bay County, it can do anywhere. It can Whether do you are in Lusinga Highland, yes. or in Swangano, you know, those are one of the driest parts of yes, uh, yes. Homa Bay County. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. So basically, you know, most of the time we have uh, two seasons. Yes. Uh, when you talk about these two seasons, can can it really do well in both seasons, or it's a one season plant? Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, when talking about Tavo, yeah, we have thirty one kilo kilo. Yeah. And then we have forty one forty one. Yes. Those are the varieties. Those are the varieties. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's not call them varieties. Those are the series. Yes. You know, a company can can do. A series of series of uh, uh, the varieties mm. that come one after another. Yeah. But of course, with uh, a different characteristic. Yeah. So, like forty one forty one yeah. has got ability to double cob. Yeah. Two sizable cobs. Yeah. But in thirty one kilo six, mm. it has one big cob with another small one yeah. that you can maybe give your kid. Or for roasting and all that, yeah. yeah. So you you cannot go for that big thing, mm-hmm. this big cup, to give your kids to for roasting. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So you can preserve the other one, yeah. the bigger one, for maybe a, a grinding or generally harvesting. Yeah. But you remove that small one for maybe for uh, roasting or boiling. Yeah. So when it comes to these two varieties, yes. Forty one, forty one, thirty one, zero six. One is Double cobbing, the other one is single cobbing. Not, so not when single. It comes, uh, the other one, they are, both of them are double cobbing. Yeah. But 4141 mm-hmm. gives bigger cobs. Yeah. The two, the two, the two cobs. Yeah. And not actually the two cobs. Sometimes it goes, it, it goes up to four cobs. Okay. But you need to remove the, 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 the lower most. Yeah. And maybe re, uh, remain with only three. So when it comes to productivity, yes. um, does does one is one better than the oh, other, or the yes, the two yeah. are just on, actually, on the I same need, branch? Actually, I needed to explain that. Yeah. With thirty one kilo six and forty one forty one, if you remove like one life, yeah, the quantity you will get as a production yeah. will be more or less the same with the other the other the other one forty one forty one. They don't give like a, a range of more than two teens in each case. Okay, yeah. okay, understand. So there is not nothing more like or less a, the same. One has got an advantage over the other. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Davis. Yes. So if I may ask, uh, you've told us that it does well uh, everywhere, whether it is a dry area or a wet areas in high rainfall or low okay. rainfall. Yes. So uh, thank you so much. So now, where I mean, Rachunyo actually farmers. This is the reason why. I'm so interested uh, in this. So, where can we get this seed in Zachuan? Where can we get this seed? So that, that my sister, who I am a keeper, can yeah. also yeah. have the same thing, that the, the same production that I've been having, and um, we sort out this food insecurity thing. Because you know, economy is also hard. Yeah. So if you don't have uh, for, uh, harvest, yeah. oh, it's yeah. so hard. So okay. where can we get it? Uh, and especially in Zachuan. 
Okay. In Homa Bay County here. Thank you very much. You know, you didn't know you were dealing with a company when you got over here. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is new. Okay, this is great. Yeah. Great International. Okay. Great means Center of Rural Empowerment and Agricultural Transformation for Sustainability. Okay, we are here to sustain, <laughs> to sustain <laughs> the, the county. Yeah, so yeah. in this office, yeah. we have the director. Yeah. That's George of Yeah. And uh, we started over this as a champion of uh, agricultural scientists yeah. who came freshly from college. Yeah. So we have an office in Uyugi, opposite to Uyugi's uh, town council. Yeah. We have bales and bales over there yeah. to give our farmers. Actually, we are looking our farmers directly yeah. from their uh, focus groups. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we are handling uh, our farmers in groups, yeah. like women groups, youth groups, and all that. So uh, we can check for them over there. But in a case, somebody needs to come for our office mm -hmm. to take uh, from, from the office, yeah. you will come opposite the Ujib Town Council. So guys, in Rachuanyo, you know, you've yeah. heard that. Those who are in Rachuanyo and beyond, yeah. let me talk of Homa Bay County. Yeah. Uh, Create organization is actually ready to sort you out. And um, it is uh, opposite Oyugi's Town Council offices and guys for those who are in groups it is easy you have said it is easy to work with group because you come uh, as a group and they sort you out so guys please find uh, your place in Oyugi they will sort you out and um, you will be sorted so besides this you, you have heard you talked about uh, scientists you know agriculture <laughs> or whatever what else do you do in create or or as a, a scientist that can benefit us as farmers yeah. who are also dealing with the, the services. Okay. You know, the world is dynamic. We yeah, need yeah. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. The world is dynamic. Okay, well, uh, and agriculture is the basis of all. Yeah, while we are uh, handling crop production farmers, yeah. we were concerned about uh, poultry farmers yeah. and fish farmers, aquaculture. Yeah. 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 The 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 production of fish, mm -hmm. we call them aquaculture. Yeah. So. Under that, we have a number of projects that we are handling farmers according to what they are doing. Yeah. One, you have vermiculture. Yeah. Vermiculture is the rearing of uh, aquas. Oh, vermiculture. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Specifically, that's new. That's new. And, and not, 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 <laughs> not, yeah. not, not, not any other uh, aquam you can, you can walk around and get on the road. Yes. No, this very specific, the type we call red waggler. Mm -hmm. These are hybrid. Uh, um, at once, yes. that are targeting poultry farmers, fish farmers, yes. and again, you know, like in a bean, yeah. we, we, rare, we are rearing in a bean, yeah. a bean means now their house. Yeah. After that, we are removing the bean to the farm, that is fertilizer. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we are looking to fix the economy within the single coin you have. It is not better going for uh, fertilizer, synthetic fertilizer, mm -hmm. in Oyugi. But all this we are looking around here, these are fertilizers. Yeah. You can keep them together, you feed your atworms there, yeah. and then af after, the, uh, after, after, after they have, uh, you know, in, 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 in vermiculture, yeah. there's decomposition. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So in decomposition, it is the atoms that will do that. Mm. So after decomposition, you will take that that to the farm. Okay, thank and you. And then you, you don't buy fertilizer. <laughs> thank you so much. So you talked of vermiculture. Yes. So ah, okay, again, vermiculture. another thing, another thing we are doing, we have vermiculture yeah. as a project, yeah. and then we have uh, now the seed, which we are doing as a social enterprise. You don't get any any single uh, uh, coin mm -hmm. for a, as a profit. Yeah. Yeah. We are just helping the farmer. Yeah, but we take them from the company directly, okay. and then we give to the farm. Yeah, but they they, they come they come with something. Yeah, yeah they come not, obvious, not for free. Yeah, but we sell yeah. as a company. social enterprise. Yeah. We are giving you with the same same price yeah. that we take them yeah. from the company. Wow, that is so good. Yeah. That is so good. Yeah. Guys, we are sorted when it comes to that. So, guys, thank you so much. I've learned about vermiculture. So vermiculture, we are coming for you. 
and I thank God that I got these officers. Next time, guys, um, we are going to talk about Doni culture. So that has been my time with uh, Mr. David Lino, yes, the agricultural scientist. Thank you so much, guys, and uh, <laughs> stay you, tuned. Thank stay thank tuned, officers. Next time, guys, um, we are going to talk about Doni culture. So that has been my time with uh, Mr. David Lino, yes, the agricultural scientist.